Hello world, it's me and the one and only. Just you say your name. Uh, you do it. Bone Crusher. <laughs> do it again. Frank Crusher. No, <laughs> you're closer than the first one. Frank. Chrysler. Chrysler 300. <laughs> I don't know. Bert Chrysler. Bert Chrysler. Uh huh. You know who Bone Crusher is? Uh, is it? I was like, no. I don't. I, I was gonna guess. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, R&B singer, and his first song came out was called "I Ain't Never Scared," and I think it fits your description. I was thinking, I was, I was, I'm scared a lot. I'm scared more than you. I woke up scared this morning. Hmm. I wake up scared every morning. Why you do that? Uh, I think because I drink and I mm -hmm. smoke weed, and I think I have pan panic attacks in the morning. Mm -hmm. I think about death every morning when I wake up. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, yeah. it's, it's think thinking is just thinking. Thinking is free. But yeah, but no, but then you realize it's gonna happen. Yeah. You can't stop it. It's life. What if you feel, what if people had to pay to think? Do you feel like <laughs> I'd have a lot of extra money? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like thinking too much. Every I love year. when life you get in life and it does and I like when life that's what I like about marijuana is it slows your brain down a little bit and it forces you to like take your thoughts one at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I'm overthinking, I, that is, kills me. Like when yeah. you overthink a thing, but yeah. I the think, only thing I, I, I would have smoke if I don't like coughing. You don't like coffee? Coughing. Oh yeah. I don't like coffee either. Really? I, I don't like coffee because coffee reminds me when I was in school, that was my teacher favorite thing. And I didn't like the teachers when I was young. That was their best friend. Yeah. So it seemed like when they drink coffee, they got meaner and meaner. So I always had a grudge against coffee. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's yeah. where you usually coffee starts as a kid. That's where you see it. That's where I got introduced to it as. I got introduced to it by coffee cake. It was the first time I had, like, it was the first chance I ever took on eating as a kid. Mm -hmm. I was like, what's that? And my dad's like, coffee cake. I was like, ooh, I'll try it. And I tried it and I was like, I think I'm growing up. I like coffee cake. He was like, I was like, I probably, I probably would like coffee. And then I tasted coffee. First time I ever had coffee for real, I was working at a law firm in Tallahassee. And the guy came in and he was like, he was like, I already feel like this story's going to go nowhere. No, no, I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> no, it's going to go somewhere. <laughs> and, he's, I did, and then he was like, your job's to make coffee. And I was like, okay. And then he came in and he was like, yo, that's a half a pot. Get rid of it. I want fresh coffee when I come in. I go, what am I supposed to do with that? And he goes, fucking drink it for all I care. So I started drinking like half the other half pots when we get halfway. And I was so jacked that I walked home from the law firm and left my car there. I was like fucking wired. I went to the gym. I lifted weights. I was like, what the fuck's in coffee? Was it worth it? Type shit. What? Type shit. Type shit. All right, so type shit is like a word of saying like, I'm with you. Like type shit, like type, like that's the uh -huh. type of shit, like so type shit. So I'm gonna say something and then I'll let you say it. Type so, shit. Yeah, so I'm about to tell you a story and these So basically I woke up this morning and I was just so happy. I was happy because I brushed my teeth and I was able to get on Instagram and I got five more new followers. Outside of the five new more followers, my baby mama called me and told me, come pick up the baby. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? I got up and get the baby. Then I put her in the car and I went home. Type shit. How you feel? I feel I feel like I'm appropriating something. Yeah, do like, what you said, but it no, but I can't. I'm learning new things because I listen to a lot of podcasts, and so like I just learned what no cap means. Yeah, I'm 51. I can't be yeah. like I can't be like I just got my blood work back. My liver enzymes are good. No cap. Type shit. Yeah, you could. That would be good. That would be good. So like, let's use that in a sentence. Like, it's just, okay. let's say, let's talk about the last stand up experience. And just tell me the story how it went. And then throw in no cap like five times into that. Okay. Okay. Um, what city was you in last? I was in Atlanta. I did uh, the punchline Monday oh, night. Okay. Okay. Then how that went? Break it down to me. Uh, I No cap. I killed. 
I killed. I had a really fun. I got drunk on stage, got a little loose. Uh, pause. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, uh, and I and I was worked out. I got some new. I got some new jokes. Uh, some some stuff was a little off, sideways, no cap. But uh, but I got it in there. Pause. Type shit. You're getting it. You're good. Bunny Marco prize pick scene two take six. Hello world, I want to introduce you to Prize Pick. You download this app, you can pick your favorite players from any sports. Even from Call of Duty, you pick more or less, and what you put in, you will receive. Don't forget to put Funny Marco, you put up 100, you'll get 100. Fuck you gotta yeah. remove like the hat when you're doing it though. Uh, no. <laughs> Type shit? <laughs> it's kind of hard to say no cap when you got a cap though. Oh, is that why? Yeah. Oh, that would be, that's, that's like a, that's like a, wait, can I tell you a dad joke I wrote? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite. <clears throat> this, I wrote this. I wrote this high in a hot tub and I couldn't stop laughing. What did Mr. T say after he pushed 50 cent in the pool? You ready? <laughs> no, I ain't, I ain't got you. Gotta let me guess. <laughs> That's not how a joke works. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> what did Mr. T say? That's Mr. 50 push cent. 50 cent in the pool. So Mr. T, what day, where was it, what did it take place? It was, at, uh, it was at Puff Daddy's pool party. Okay. What day? A weekend? Or weekend? It was uh, Cinco de Mayo. Okay. Around what time? Night? Or it was day? early. It was early. Mr. T had come in, his sugars were off, and he had, had a couple of margaritas. He was drinking Ciroc with a margarita. Mm -hmm. And, and 50 he saw cent. 50 Cent. And he, was 50 Cent dressed? Yeah, no, no, no. Just gold. He had a Cuban links on. Tank and top. A tank top. And uh, he had just done push ups. He looks good. Okay. And everyone's there. and But not everyone remembered Mr. T. Yeah, it's been a long time. Puff introduced him. He was like, yo, this is T. And everyone's like younger and they're like, what was your thing? And he goes, I'll show you my thing. And he pushed 50 cent in the pool and then he turned to the party and he said, Hold on, let me guess. So when this took place, I'm trying to catch the vibe more. It's a lot of people at the pool party. Oh yeah, very multicultural too. Right. And it's, oh, he said one thing, it was only one, one thing. Word. One, one thing. One thing. Mr. T, 50 cent. I'm um, getting you right to the water. You can, you can, you can almost No, no, let it. me get there. Me it's get there. there. Yeah, let me get there. Uh, 50 Cent, did he, when he pushed, 50, did he get angry? 50 Cent's not the best swimmer. Right, so, so he But he panicked. can swim, he didn't drown. Like, it wasn't a panic. Right. But when he jumped in, it wasn't cool so 50 Cent. Him. You saw child 50 Cent of right. like, of like, and he goes right over to the corner, he puts his arms up on the corner, everyone's looking, 50 Cent's in the pool, Mr. T's standing there. He turned around and he turned around, looked at the whole party. Mm -hmm. So nobody's behind him? No, uh, no. Right. I mean, there's some chicks on last So this chairs. is a setup. No, Mexico. no, no. It's Mr. T's good. He just. But if nobody's <clears> behind him <throat> and he pushes them in, it got to be a setup to have everybody in front. No, no, no. It's it's at this house. Uh, Puff has an infinity pool that overlooks the Hollywood Hills, and right. so that you can't really get on that side because it drips off to the to the edge of the. Oh yeah, so he, it's, it's no beautiful. Setup. You can see. Oh, you can see Catalina from his house. Mm -hmm. Everything, all of downtown. It's like a 360 view. Mm -hmm. And 50 Cent was taking it in. He was like, "Man, I wish I had a house like this." And Mr. T came in and introduced him. Was 50 Cent in a conversation? No, no, he didn't even know he was there, but he's a big fan. So right, he didn't right. get mad right. because of what Mr. T said. Fuck. You really, you broke it down. I see the picture of it. Mm -hmm. LA, right? This is in yeah, LA, Los yeah. Angeles, California. Sunset Plaza. Okay. Uh, where was you at? I wasn't there. I just heard the story. So how do you? Oh, I okay. just heard the story. It's a good okay. story. Okay. So this could be all fake. Yeah. Nori called me up. He was like, "Dude, did you hear what Mr. T said after he pushed Fifty Cent in the pool?" And I was like, and "He was on. there, but he knew you were." Nori was there. Nori. Why was he asked you that? And why would he ask you? Did you? We just close. We, we run a lot, and so we text each other our mileage in the mornings. After oh, type we run. shit. Yeah, type shit. No cap. He runs a lot. He's he's uh, he's he's really great. He looks good. Pause. Uh, did pause, he? pause. Pause. Ooh, he said one word. No, he said one sentence. One sentence. How many words? How many words are in a sentence? Excuse me. There's four words in the sentence. 
I'll be down. Mm -mm. It's Mr. T. Is Mrs. T around? Mm -mm, she's passed. Okay. His daughter was there. Okay. His daughter's kind of his handler. She does his all social media stuff. I heard about her. She's very handsome. Yeah, she was shooting it in landscape, though. Yeah. So, like, because she thought the view was beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's not going to make it on reels. And this, I'll go back to one joke. I mean, it's only one word. Four words, yeah. one joke, and it crushed. I mean, Nori said he was, like, no cap, he was doubled over. Mm -hmm. and what, tell me. I fitted the pool. What did he say? I fitted the pool. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I fitted the pool. And then, and then, and then there, was, there, there was some young girls over by the bar, and they're like, I don't get it. And then Puff was like, yo, his catchphrase was, I pity the fool. Mm -hmm. And he threw 50 in the pool. 50 cent. 50 cent. And he goes, I fitted the pool. And, and even 50 cent was like, that's good. He still got it. That's what he said. Yep. Oh, damn. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 50 Cent's got a great sense of humor. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he, he does, is. man. Like it, the, <clears throat> And I, I, I hope that him and Floyd Mayweather are friends because I love him going after Floyd Mayweather. I, mean, yeah. I like Floyd Mayweather. It's like some, I, I look at life as WWE. It's just like in, entertainment sometimes. It's not that serious. Yeah. Because uh, when Mankind used to be for Stone Cold, it just looked good. But in reality, yeah. they were really friends. Yeah. But I liked it. I would never wanted them to be friends on the show. Yeah, it's crazy how you find your allegiance in certain people, especially with, with wrestling. Mm. Like, especially like, like. Could you be a wrestler? Yeah. Mm. I, have I, have, I have pro wrestler energy. And you work out? I work out hard. Oh. Yeah, I can do 50 push ups. I got 50. I got 50 to the floor. Let's do it. <laughs> nah. Uh, work out. Let's see what was your wrestling shirt be. Well, my wrestling your shirt? Wrestling look. Shirtless. Yeah. You want to show us? Yeah. Hold on. Pause? Yeah. Okay. Can you close your eyes? Can you do it? Yeah. I mean, I'm going to close my eyes. You want me? Okay, you want me to close my eyes? No, I'm going to close my eyes. Okay. I so badly want to take my dick out right now. <laughs> nah, you can keep that in there. <laughs> Thank God. I'm going to add like the beep in there. Trey, that's what you had to beep. Thank you. All right. Look at my shoulders first. Hmm? Look at my shoulders first. Oh, this is awkward. They're pretty good shoulders, right? Let me look at the camera. Yeah, look at you. Yeah. You can use a BBL. Baby, uh, is that real? Yeah. BBLs are real. Yeah. For real? Mm -hmm. Can't imagine them getting that. Seems like a silly thing because you mm -hmm. can't see it. It's behind you. Yeah. So you, even when you get the surgery, you have to go, how does it look? And people yeah. are like, Oh, it looks good when you're leaving a room. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it, like your your BBO will be belly below lifted. Belly. Yeah. The people say my power is in my belly. Mm -hmm. People were always afraid if I lost weight, I wouldn't be funny. But I'm in, I'm like probably top five percent in shape <laughs> of people in this country. Yeah. Yeah, easy. I mean, you think how many fat people there are. I wouldn't say that you, I don't call people fat, I call them like you, you'd be like medium thick. I like thick. Yeah. I'm not, I've never been thick. Like when you see a sports player's ass, like Baker Mayfield's ass is thick. Like Pat McAfee's ass is thick. They got like big, like there, there's a difference between those pro athletes and us. Like we got like small wrists. Yeah. Do you want me to put my shirt back on? I mean, are you okay with it off? I'm okay with it off. Yeah, we I like it off. Yeah. Do you want to take yours off? Uh, last time I took mine off, it was just fifty to pull. <laughs> Is that good? It's close. Type shit. <laughs> Type shit. Yeah. Do you have any tattoos on your chest? Uh, no, I don't. I, I was gonna get some tattoos, and the only reason I got tattoos is to scare. You know, I stayed in the project, so I try to get it to scare some people away. When Shut up. Work. Yeah. That's not fair. Yeah. That's not fair. What, you want to live there? What? Live in the projects? Yeah. I would love it. Yeah. I would love it. I'd do that show. Hey, listen, anyone t doing that, I'll move my whole family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where would I want to live? What projects? Projects. What I could projects? take you. I feel like I can, like, if we build 
a place. We take you down to Chicago. Ooh, nah, -uh, not Chicago. I can't huh? do Chicago. Yes, you can. No, 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 no. I only do soft projects. No. Like, like give, give me a starter project. Chicago can warm you up. No. O block. No, 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 no. I can't do Oakland or Chicago. I could do. I could do Atlanta. Baltimore. No, 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 no. Let's start. Start with something I know. So we're gonna connect through music, and I don't. Tennessee really, is. A I goal. could do Orange Mound. Uh, no, that don't sound like projects. Orange Mount, Orange Mount, Tennessee. That's where Swap House, Tony Drake. No, nah, I'm from. talking about Killville. Killville? No, I don't want to go to Killville. No, Killville is where they really. Killville does not sound appetizing. I know. That's but like Kill taking a vacation in Albania. I know, right? But I'm saying Killville is basically where you actually get to sit down, and you actually get to understand, just stay in your lane, and you won't be a part of the Killville. So the thing is, it's a thing called being on the streets in a sidewalk. And like me, I will be on the sidewalk. I don't get in the streets. So what's a sidewalk? It's just, is that like more like? Just it's safe. So it's like, it's like, you know, when, when you go, uh, you go to a park and they have like mulch for a running trail. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Just stay over there. Just okay. stay away. I could do that. So basically let's say this, I'm going to give you a scenario. Basically you meet a hot chick, right? Okay. Uh, you meet a hot chick, right? Okay. How and tall then, is she? Uh, how tall is she? She's not that really tall, probably like six, seven. You meet her and then you want to actually approach her, right? And she's around probably like eight different dudes. And these dudes are very nice guys. Okay. One of them has on a blue rag and a lot of them have blue and red rags around their head, tied up, tattoos on their face, but they are nice guys. Like butterfly tattoos? No, teardrops. Te oh, okay. Yeah. And you want to go approach her and get her number. How would you do that? I'll be the lady. Okay. Hi. Are these fellas bothering you? Huh? Are these fellas bothering you? Oh no, these are my brothers. Oh, hi. Hey fellas. It would be cool if I took your sister out. Hey, no, fuck no. The fuck? <laughs> well, my name's Bert. I don't give a fuck who you is. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm originally from Tampa. I'm new here to kill Guys, Bill. calm down. He's okay. Yeah, I just was like, I would love to take her out for- Where you come from? You the popo? No, I'm not. I, I'm the opposite of Popo. Ho ho? No, Momo. That's not a good one, probably. No, 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 no. You can't do that. No Momo. <laughs> no, that was not. I'm the Momo. I see you know. I'm getting yeah. punked. No, okay. You I'm not the Momo. Mo. No Momo. I'm the slow, slow. <laughs> not good either. Okay, I'm the I'm the JoJo. <laughs> JoJo, not uh, Roro. Bobo. Roro is cool. Roro, is cool. I'm Roro. Yeah. I said that would be my nickname. Yeah, Roro. I go. All yeah. right, all right. Okay, you ready? I want to start over. All ready? Right. This, tell me if this one will work. Okay. Oh, God. Don't do the footsteps. Okay. <laughs> Don't glide over here. <laughs> okay. We good. Hey, yo, what you doing over here? Which one of you punks? I gotta fight that date this chick. Oh, you serious? Oh, hey, go get the fucking scrap. Okay, that didn't work. All right, let's try another one. Hi. Can I introduce you guys to a little bit of my culture? Yeah, who's who? What's your name, brother? My name's Bert. Uh, <laughs> what? Bert. What is that? It's a very common name. Hey, yo, this name. guy says his name is Bert. Who the hell is Bert? Bert Kreischer. Wow, and you say your last name. Uh, Kreischer. You know down here, my name is Lil 20. You know why they call me that? Why? Because I took 20 to the chest. Like bullets? Yeah. Can I see? What the hell? No, no, no. You can't see it. No, you ain't, ain't got to connect with me. Okay. Yeah, right. what you want? I'll tell you what. I'd like to leave my number with you, and if you find any interest in I don't want to talk to you, No, Bobby? your sister, your sister. Oh, you want to talk to me? Lil 20. Can we talk privately without your brothers around for a second? No, you can't talk to my sister. Oh yeah, you can talk to me, but you have to pay me. Uh, how much? Uh, probably a thousand dollars. And that's just conversation. Little 20, I call that walking around money. I call that do the damn thing money. Get it? I'm trying to connect. It's from that song. Got a pocket full of do the damn thing money. See, this is why I only fucked white chicks. I think it's just a lot of hurdles that I'm not ready or prepared to tackle. I can see it. Yeah, it's so much easier. You ready? I'll be a white chick and I'll be all the white dudes around her. Okay, okay. And then you come up and talk to her. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, hey buddy, how you doing, man? What's Where up? you from? I'm cool. I'm trying to talk. Hey, to let me introduce you to my sister. She's never been with a black guy before. My dad's gonna go crazy. Hang on, come on in. Yeah, man. What's up? How you doing, Shadi? Hey, hi. That's so good, man. What's your credit score is? Oh, it's it's really good. Should we get you a car? Oh yes, <laughs> I need a Hellcat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
it's easier. Yeah. It's easier to fuck white chicks than it is to fuck black chicks, I think. I, I, it's Starbucks. That's why I want to know how do different races approach women. Because us, we slide in DMs. Like, um, do you think other races slide in DMs? How do they go? And if they was to DM them, how did they go? I mean, I, I don't know. It's been so long since I tried to fuck a chick. Mm -hmm. But what do you, if you can speak for like some of your friends? My friends don't fuck chicks either. Oh, damn. Everyone's got kids and married. Uh, what about if you was to just say the younger you? Right now, if you was young and Instagram popping, you are who you are right now. Oh, buddy, I'd be fucking covered in pussy. I would be, I would be, because if I never had the option to like swipe to pick chicks, mm -hmm. but I know the energy of like getting on Yelp and going through the pictures of the food and going, I can't pick which one I want. I want them all. Mm -hmm. And so if I think I'd bring that Yelp energy to Tinder, and go like, no, 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 no. Fuck, I've never been with an Asian chick. Yes. No, oh my God, Brazilian. Yes. Shit, shit. Oh my God, I'd tap everything. Redhead with puffy nipples. Shut the fuck up. I've never seen that. I'd want to see it all. I'd be like a backpacker, a Canadian backpacker. So the younger you would have just been going crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd have yeah. AIDS. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not talking about it. Yeah. And then when you say certain stuff, uh, he's going to blur your face out because it's not you. So like that part, we blur his face out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you blur my face out right now? No, when you say certain stuff. Okay. Cause like with me, when you be you, I feel like it's a side to everybody. So that side is blurred out. So you be like, oh, that wasn't fucking me. Cause you're, cause you're married, right? Yeah. So if your girl like, this how you will be, but your face is blurred. She won't know it's you. Oh, my wife knows. I, oh, I, no, fuck no, she don't know. No, she. No, she does not know. <laughs> I wonder what my wife. No. <laughs> I'd say that, like, I think black men speak more respectfully of their women than white guys do. Because we talk shit about our wives a mm -hmm. lot. And, like, brothers don't do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's scary. Yes. It's like we scared. And so, like, what was the time where you went out and you was like, you got beside yourself. You almost like, like, oh, shit. Let me say sorry to her. To my wife? Yeah. Uh oh. Never. No, no. I, yeah. I have a couple. Yeah. I have a couple. And so when you get mad at your wife, you are mad at each other. Is it okay? Do and you need a breather? Would you leave out to give her a breather? Or you feel like you should let her go out and get the breather? She's a redneck, so she doesn't apologize well. Mm -hmm. She gets angry. Mm -hmm. She gets ornery. And she's got to process it. I can I can forgive very easily. Mm -hmm. I, I almost like it's almost to a fault. Like in the middle of a fight, I can say, hey, I love you. This is not a big thing. Let's get past this. Mm -hmm. I can find my fault in it, but she has to discover her fault. Mm -hmm. So, so you and Dick Sporting that right now, random dude come and punch you and you're fighting and you randomly like, hey, dude, I love you. I could do that. Well, oh, yeah, I could definitely forgive someone very quickly. That's I'm crazy. the kind of guy that in like a street fight, if it started and then the guy's like, stop, stop, stop. I'd be like, okay, we're good. Like I wouldn't be the guy pounding on him. And then what if he hits you right after that? I'd be like, I thought we had a trust. I thought we had a deal. Mm -hmm. You ever been in a fight? Yeah, I've been in the fight. You know what's crazy? The first fight I've been in, I got beat up and I I told people I got jumped. And the footage. <laughs> I did that too. You did? Yeah. But I the footage. I got my ass but, kicked. But, but the footage came out. The no footage like, is back in the 80s. No, nah, this, I got footage. Oh, you got footage? <laughs> this dude Donovan I told it on stage one time it, he was he was a bunch of black dudes and this black dude Donovan and then this one white dude Mario who was fighting Donovan I just wanted to see the fight so I stuck my head in and then just because our uniforms look alike I'm all of a sudden on his team <laughs> and the, I was aware we we're wearing the away jerseys <laughs> and they pushed me in and Donovan beat the shit out of me. Like, I mean, I did not. I was, I Couldn't wouldn't stand a chance. I was, I didn't stand a chance. That's when you say no cap. And no cap. I didn't stand a chance. No cap. <laughs> and, and I kept trying to tell him I'm not on his team. Mm -hmm. But Donovan was like, you're not on my team. Right. And then when the, I told the story, they were like, yeah. And then Bert stuck his head, all these black guys. And then he got the shit kicked out. And they're like, they beat him up. I'm like, no, Damn. just one. Mm -hmm. Just one. Everyone else watched mm -hmm. and cheered. Mm -hmm. 
And then the cop showed up. Do you get more angry at, you see a fight, do you get more angry at the person, after the fight is over, you get more angry at the person beating you up or the person recording you? You get up and you get to see both of them. And it's just one filming and the person beat you up. Which one do you feel like you're more angry at? The person filming. Why? Because it's, why didn't you help me? Right. Put your camera down. Get me out of this. I'm not doing it well. Mm -hmm. You know? So if you could send a message out to a cameraman that they ever recorded a fight, could you look in the camera and send it to him? This one. Is, and you want me to tell them if you're ever going to record a fight? No, no, no. No, the people that have recorded fights, can you send them a message? The ones that record the fights, can you send them a message? Hey, to all you uh, people recording fights, you're no worse than the Nazis that were just doing their job. You need to jump in and affect change because one day that's going to be your ass that's getting beat. And you better hope no one's recording it and they help you out. You like how I slid Nazis in there? Yeah. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> so, let's say this. If you could sum yourself up in one word, what would it be? Fun. Mm -hmm. fun. So, SpongeBob is fun. He's always happy. He goes through life. Would yeah. you compare yourself? If you could be a cartoon character, who would you be? If you can name him. Scooby-Doo. Why? Because I like mysteries, but I don't like solving them. I like being there for them. And then at the end of the day, I'm kind of the reason you solved it. Why is that? It's like just my energy. Like I don't freak out like Velma and I'm not useless like Daphne. And then I'm not Fred. I'm not arrogant, but I'm not shaggy because shaggy's lost. I'm Scooby. I'm making sure we're all having fun. I'm making sure that we have a good time. And at the end of the day, if you want, I'll cuddle with you. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. Who wouldn't you be? What's a cartoon character who's like, this This is fucking pointless. Captain Caveman. Mm -hmm. Because I, I don't get like that. I don't like... Mm -hmm. I, I, I can measure my energy. What about Patrick? Patrick who? Off Spongebob. I don't really watch Spongebob. Mm -hmm. I'm old. Okay, if I could take it back. Clifford, do you feel like it was a good cartoon? Clifford the Big Red Dog? Yeah. Nah, there's no depth to it. Mm -hmm. It's like he's a big dog. Okay. So like, you, ever, you ever have a friend with a real big dick but no personality? Uh, no, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't know you that. You never get like you never see him, like you know, a guy who does like computer programming. He's got a hog on him, mm -hmm. and he's just as boring as fuck. Oh yeah, blog his face out on this one. Yeah, yeah, that was not you. That was not me. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and make the deep voice too, and then <laughs> bring him back to normal. <laughs> It would be great if I was a if FBI informant, but my shirt was still off. <laughs> I was like, I watched John Gotti kill him. <laughs> and they're like, I think it's Bert. <laughs> His shirt's off. <laughs> and I'm drinking a fucking Poroso, so I got a cigar in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's his watch, man. He just bought that watch. That's him. Is he wearing a whoop around his wrist? No, he has a sponsorship with whoop. He tracks his sleep. That's Bert telling him he saw this. What's the item that you bought that was pointless? He's like, oh, shit, I shouldn't have bought this. I'm probably spending money on my education. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that is a waste. So I didn't need it. Yeah, you know. I didn't learn anything in college. I learned yeah. it all after college. Mm -hmm. I learned how to hang out and, like, party and have a good time and meet people mm -hmm. but like i really wish wish i could do college again because i'd love to see what i'm curious about when was now. the last time you needed to use multiplication like instantly on the street never i don't i don't really divide have anybody ever came up to you was like Yo. i still get fucked up on dividing or what number goes first in the calculator mm -hmm. and then i'm like wait wait point two zero 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 five nine 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 what the fuck how many mm -hmm. how many french fries am i gonna get mm -hmm. You know? How much first fries do you think come in a bag if you had to do how much average McDonald's? If you had to take a guess, how many French fries are usually in a large? Well, I do something different at McDonald's where I call it Razzle Dazzle, where I just give them $100 and I go, surprise me. Mm -hmm. And then they load bags up, load yeah. it up. It's my favorite thing to do. I do it at Del Taco, I do it at Taco Bell. Anytime I've been drinking, we pull in mm -hmm. and I just go, Here's a hundred bucks. If we got people in the car, here's 200 bucks. Just surprise us. Mm -hmm. And then the, the look in their face is always like, like, what do you mean? I go, do it like you're making it for your friends. Mm -hmm. And then they just, it's the best. So I feel like, oh, McDonald's should definitely sponsor you. I had a surprise me. So right now I have a thing where you get the endorsement deal. So right now we're going to send a message to McDonald's. Mm -hmm. We're going to 
actually pitch this to him. So how you doing, McDonald's? That's your camera. Okay. How you doing, McDonald's? I'm here with my number one client, and we also have a great idea from you that which will be great to sponsor. He will break it down to you. Let him have it. Chat. Hey, McDonald's, can you? Hold on. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> hey, McDonald's, we have a great idea for you. We should definitely sponsor you. Ah, <clears throat> fuck. Hey, McDonald's, we definitely. Okay. Hey, McDonald's, we are definitely like a sponsor. This is number one. Okay. Why don't you talk? I was. I'm talking. I'm. T- I'm doing voiceover. Okay. So that they think I'm really good at accents. Okay. <clears throat> How you doing, McDonald's? This is the number one agent, and I have my number one client, and we'd like to do a deal with you. And he's gonna take over and tell you why. And what's the ideal? Give it to him. McDonald's, can I pitch you the Razzle Dazzle? No, you are. No, don't Wait. say can I. <laughs> oh, hey, McDonald's. Thanks for coming to the table. This is the Razzle Dazzle. It is a certain price point, let's just say $100, and then your employees fill up a hundred dollar bag. It's, it's a, the bag says Razzle Dazzle on it, and it's big. It's like a suitcase, and you go and you can order it online. The Razzle Dazzle. You guys are at your house, you're high, and they come in. Don't put the house. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're at your house, you're watching, reading Bible verses, and you're like, I really want the Razzle Dazzle. And your youth leader's like, we should do it. And then you guys go down, and you get the Razzle Dazzle bag, and it's zipped up top, and you don't get to open it until it's got a time release. That sound get. like weed. It does sound like weed. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Sitting there zipped up. <laughs> yeah. And you got you can't just pull it apart. You got another little thing here where you got to open it from. <laughs> oh, that would be badass. If they did the weed no, bag fuck, lockage. We're trying to get a deal. What okay. the hell? Okay. All right. All right. Come on. We got to do it over. So look, with the McDonald's. I don't think Razzle Dazzle. I don't think McDonald's is going to look at my body and want me to be a spokesperson. No, they definitely would. You yeah. fit the description of a McDonald's spokesperson. Yeah. And, and it comes with Diet Cokes. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing better than eating fucked up and taking a diet coke. Oh, how great would it be? You open up a bag and there's 40 cheeseburgers, 10 hamburgers for whoever's square. Mm. Then like cheese. You got five Big Macs, three Whopper, three uh, three quarter pounders with cheese. You got two double quarter pounders. You got 80 nuggets. You got all the sauces. Mm-hmm. And then there's fries just on top of it. Mm. Like just pour, they just dump the fries in. And so it's just, you gotta go dig through the fries to find out what they got. Right. It's the razzle dazzle. You know, that's good. And I feel like you can go along with that. I think so. I love more co- corporate sponsorships. No cap. Let's, <laughs> let's do, let's, what, what would you like to be corporate sponsored? Uh, I actually would like to sponsor something that I feel like that I can pitch and sell good. Uh, you know the bikes? Uh, Cannondale? No, not that. What is that? It's a mountain bike. It's a really good mountain bike. Uh, I've never been to the mountains. You don't have to go to the mountains. You can do it here in Atlanta. Yeah. There's a lot of good mountain bike trails here. Are you a mountain person? And when I was younger, mm-hmm. I did it in Colorado, and I didn't realize the technology of mountain bikes changed, and I used clipped-in pedals, mm-hmm. and you you got to be quick to take your feet out, and I almost fell down a I hill. got a question yesterday. Somebody said, for $3 billion, would you walk in the house and just give your mom a slap, for, like slap her in the face for $3 billion, and you had to tell her after you got the money why you did it, and would you? what do you think will happen? I like that. That was pretty tough. What do you feel like you could do it? Yeah. Yeah. I'd slap her unconscious. Mm. Three billion million? How much? I was just three billion. billion. Three billion. Three billion. Yeah. I'd slap my mom and my dad. Right. I'd slap everyone in the house. Yeah. I'd go to the house next door, start slapping people. Three billion dollars? <laughs> I wouldn't would even you? tell her why I did it. Oh damn. No one would see me again. I'd be living on a boat. Would you give them a percentage? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd break them off something. Yeah. And, and never tell them I had $3 billion. I'd be like, yo, here's like $50,000. And they'd be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd get that machine gun Kelly tattoo. $50,000 is a good slap. There's a lot of money. Because <laughs> people are doing, how do you feel about that slap challenge that they got? Did you go? No, I haven't. You been to one? so fucking awesome. <laughs> Why'd you do it like, why you say it like that? Because I get I get excited. Uh, do it over again? I get, it's so fucking awesome. Okay. And we went and we stood, we sat, me and Tommy went and and watched it front row. It was it was packed with like all your favorite people. Like uh, Johnny Manziel was there. Steve will do it. Uh, the Bustin' with the Boys guys mm-hmm. and a bunch of cage fighters. And then you watching chicks slap each other. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. And, I, then, and then you watch them not connect. And you know, like they didn't knock him out. And then you watch them have to go, oh shit, I'm next. Right. 
and they powder up their hands. So there's a big, like a magician just slapped you. LeBron James. That would LeBron be cool James if they got a magician in there and he slapped him and the guy disappeared. And everyone's like, whoa. And then he was like, <sighs> that'd be me because I take off running. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> you mean you slap and go, that's it, I quit. You win. I mean, you yeah, win. You I just wanted know. to see if I could knock you out. <laughs> What what movie? What? <clears throat> and let's say you had to go against a serial killer from Michael Myers. You got Jason. You got Freddy Krueger. Which killer do you feel like you could survive and why? Um, Jason. No, wait. My, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers. I think I Jason. Could, I could uh, Freddy Krueger. Why? Because I have really cool dreams, and I bet he'd be in the dream. He'd be like, oh, wait, is that Elvis? And I go, yeah. He's like, shut up. Are we doing drugs? And I was like, yeah, we're all taking drugs. He's like, are five dudes butt fucking in the corner? And I was like, welcome to my dreams, Freddy. He's like, ah, oh, I'm not cool with this. You know what? I think you guys have you time. Fred, do you feel like Freddy Krueger would talk like when you talk to a stripper with nails and they could do this all the time? You know, and they're like, you know, and they like really show their nails off. It'd be cool if you could befriend Freddy Krueger and he would scratch your back when you went to sleep. And that should be a meme. Freddy Krueger scratching your back before you go to sleep on his Xanax. And he's like, I'll see you in a little bit. You started this. <laughs> and what'd you do? I finished this shit, huh? <laughs> so who's wrong, me or you? <laughs> I'm right. Freddy Krueger's the one you want to deal with. Jason's just Oh persistent. yeah, let's go to a commercial break. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. We're back again. How'd you feel about the commercial break? I'd be shocked. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that they were a sponsor, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I've never used a butt plug, but I think, what? Oh, we saw different commercials. Oh, because of our algorithm, we've got different commercials. What commercial did you get? Sneakers. They pop up on my feed so much. No, I didn't get that one. I got actually sports. I got uh, the, the sports where you put on a suit. It's a suit that you put on to make you warm for Football players when it's cold, so it's a warm body suit. They have that? Yeah, no. Oh, but that, that's what your algorithm gave mm -hmm. you? Oh, yeah, uh, right now. Uh, do an ad deal right now. Okay. Shout out to an ad. Make an ad coming right there. Right there. This sponsor, this episode is brought to you by DraftKings. Hey, guys, basketball season's upon us. And if you want to get on the action right now for $5, DraftKings will give you $150 in bonus bets. Use promo code BURNING, download the app and get in on the action. And if gambling is not available in your city right now, that's okay. You can have fun and you can bet on the, the players and pick a player and have a good time. The hey crown, guys, the this episode is brought to you by Prize Pick, where you can pick players <laughs> more or less and you get there and you'll get a prize. You'll never know what you'll get, more or less, located in your city, near you. This episode is brought to you by Liquid Death. Man, you see those funny looking cans in the store and you think they're alcohol, they're not. It's fresh mountain water. And the great thing about Liquid Death is those cans are recyclable. Do you know the pollution that's caused by plastics will be a part of the solution and not part of the problem? Liquid Death. Use promo code BERT at liquiddeath.com. This episode is brought to you by tampons. Have you ever been feeling irritated? All you do is buy you a tampon and it take care of you. Ladies, get you one. This episode is brought to you by Pirates. Do you feel like you missed your chance? Do you feel like you just want to hang out with the boys, get out in the ocean, have some fun? Become a pirate. This episode is brought to you by the Crips. Have you ever just didn't feel like being a blood? Just go over to the Crips. Come hang out with us. Come down here and say, what up, blood? Because we're your cousins. This episode is brought to you by the police. I feel like we would have made good college roommates. Can I put another Zen in? Yeah. This episode is brought to you by Zens. Do you ever feel like you want God's love in your mouth? Well, it's right here, baby. Three milligram packets. Let's put it in, upper decky, and enjoy. Take the other one out. Put it in my pocket. How do you feel about veneers? Ah, I have them. You do? Yeah but, they, yeah, but they're bad mm -hmm. because I got them when I was a child. 
I got hit in the mouth with a baseball bat when I was 11. Oh, shit. Yeah. Who did it? My dad. Oh. He, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> this kid, this kid, I was a past ball. It was my birthday. Mm-hmm. And my bride had a birthday party planned. Mm-hmm. And I was a catcher. I was a really good catcher. Blocked the ball. Guy stealing third. I pop up, mask off, throw down the third, throw the guy out, and the guy brings the bat back, hits me in the mouth, knocks mm-hmm. out 24 teeth. Mm. Crazy. How did you, what is that relationship with that guy now? I don't, I don't even know him. I don't even know if he knows that that happened. Like so he you don't know, think right now he see you on TV and be like, damn, that's, I knocked out all his teeth. No. Oh. That would be cool, though, if you could find out the people you've reached that have had an effect on your life mm-hmm. and if they still matter. Like do, I wonder, you, do you remember any of your, your elementary school teachers or middle school? Mm-hmm. A lot of them. Who was the one that you didn't like? Oh. Which one the one that told you you wouldn't go be shit? It was a college teacher. Yeah. When I got written up in rules. You think he was right? No, he was wrong. I'm better than him. Oh, okay. Like he's, I hope he still follows me. And he uh, so you want to send him a message real quick? I don't remember his name, but you well, know who you are. Send it to him. Hey man, how's life treating you? I'm doing pretty good. And by the way, I'm also happily married. I got two great kids. My health's great. My liver enzymes are great. No cap. Keep going. Go fuck yourself. Keep going. How's your book coming? I wrote a book. It got published. It didn't sell well, but I wrote it. What was the name of it? Uh, Life of the Party. Mm-hmm. Who was all in it? Everyone. I, put, I left everyone's real names in it. It's a mistake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wish I could. Because if you read my book and then get on my Facebook, mm-hmm. you see everyone. You're like, oh, shit. She has two kids. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I wish I, I got a text from one of the chicks. She's like, I heard it. I'm in your book. And I was like, oh. Mm-hmm. She was like, I guess you called me a whore. And I was like. How do you remember high school? You didn't call her. You wrote it down. I wrote it. I didn't call it to yeah. her. Yeah. Writing a book's a waste of time. I don't even read books. Me either. I ain't read a book. I've never read a whole book. Me. I've read I've read a couple books. I read Memoirs of a Geisha. I read The Firm. I read Flyboys. Half mm-hmm. of it. Um, Why do you think she should have called on Tyrone? Are you talking about Angela Badu? Tyrone. Why do you think, who do you think Tyrone is if you can just try? I always him? thought it was Andre 3000. Hmm. I thought that was her nickname. When you hear Tyrone, what are the description that fit? Tyrone? Yeah. You want me to describe Tyrone? <laughs> uh, Tyrone is a, a well-educated man, probably a doctor or a lawyer, uh, loves mountain biking. <laughs> He, uh, great golfer, um, <laughs> takes his shirt off all the time, and loves drinking IPAs. <laughs> no tank top, no do-rag, no tattoos. He no. don't have no kids. I wouldn't even think of that. Oh, right. No. Right. That's Ty Rizzle. Have you ever done a black, a back flip before? <laughs> yeah. You had? Yeah, I landed on my head. Right. It didn't, I won't do another one. Right. For a million dollars, you wouldn't attempt it. No, for a million dollars, I would. On the floor, just just on this ground right here, I try it. For a million dollars, I try it. How do you think it'll go? Not good. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to roll the dice on it. People do anything for money, y'all. Yeah. Shout out to them guys. Would you kiss a dude for a million dollars? Nah. Okay, two million dollars? Nah, I wouldn't do it. I just don't. It's just five million. Let's go. Hang on. Five million dollars? Kiss a dude on the lips? No, I would not kiss a man. For a hundred million. You know, I'm just. It's. It's. A billion. Me and my dad never even kissed. For real? Yeah. I kiss my dad. Never mind. Okay. Anyway, a new episode. Uh, <laughs> this episode is brought to you by I didn't do that. Okay. Now let's get into this episode. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say a phrase and then you say I didn't do that. Okay. Uh, farted while in the shower. Say what? If you didn't do it, say I didn't do that. Farted while in the shower. Oh. You're a nasty motherfucker. Oh, I shit in the shower. You never shit in the shower and had to stomp it? I did that. Who's there? Just me. Do anybody else know this? A lot of people do now. I thought it was a fart. So you sharted on yourself? Yeah. I've shit in the shower a lot. I piss in the shower. You piss in the shower? I have before, but not at this age. You ever get pissed on in the shower? No. Me either, then I guess. So if I would have said yeah, then you would have had a different answer. Yeah. All boys Catholic high school. Your face is gonna be blurred out. 
Do you ever have to shower with other dudes? Uh, no, I haven't. I really, my brother we used to take showers. He was like nine years old. Yeah. Should do it again. No. How old is he? He's 47. Yeah. Old times. Yeah, I'm 30. But yeah. we both, when we did it, we were, he was nine years, we was both nine, but he older than me now. So I don't see him doing it. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think your brother would say if you're like, hey man, you remember when we were kids, we used to shower together? He'd be like, get, get off my fucking phone. <laughs> Do you got a favorite cousin? Yeah. No, yeah, I got a couple. A couple that are really, like, really good for, mm -hmm. for me. And what makes a favorite cousin? Um, I'll tell you what makes a cousin better than a friend mm -hmm. is that you feel like you, you are tethered through DNA. Mm -hmm. So when you have little broken parts about you, you know your cousin's got it too. Mm -hmm. So like if you like to drink in the afternoon, you know you got one of those cousins that got that same DNA. Mm -hmm. And then if you have anxiety attacks, I can call Andrew. I know he's got that same DNA. Mm -hmm. And so I like that. And then it's, I like the history of that, you know, that we both came from the same group of people, the same one person that rolled the dice and was like, I'm coming to America. Can we get to know each other culture? I never, you've been to a funeral? Yeah. What music do y'all like? Oh, I mine? Yeah. Like, mine? no, the funeral you have been to, what type of music? I haven't been to a funeral in a while. Do you know what type of music is played? It was it was like God, like Christian like piano. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad like, music. Do you feel like they should stop playing sad music and piano yeah. and try to because they make you sadder, right? Yeah, I want Fortunate Son played when the doors are closed. They're holding my casket. And what's that? If you can say Creedence Clearwater Revival. Doom 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 doom. Burn out, burn out, burn out, burn out. I'll talk to them all. Hey, I'll raise a flag. Ooh, the red, white, and blue, the things open. And when Ben said, hail to the chief, ooh, they point the cannons at you, Lord. It ain't me. And now everyone in the in the church is like, yeah, I ain't no senator, son, no. It ain't me. It ain't me. And that's a going away homecoming party. What's that? And, and that's a party. Yeah, I want my funeral to be a party. I got that's a lot of songs picked out. I want a party, too. What songs do you want to play at your funeral? Uh, what's that called? Uh, uh, it's my beat. What? Sexy red. Sexy red? Pussy pink, booty old brown. <laughs> <laughs> I spit on you, I'm sorry. Yeah, that would be cool just to drop like a MJG and 8-Ball. Mm -hmm. Alcohol, pussy, and weed. Everyone's like, what the fuck? And then your wife's like, he loved this song. <laughs> Alcohol, pussy, and weed. Alcohol, pussy, and weed. After like the fifth time they say it, you go, it's a good mix. <laughs> like, they're not lying. <laughs> That's what we're going to miss, right? <laughs> That's what I'm going to miss. Alcohol, pussy, and weed. <laughs> and, then, and then I want my buddy to go up and put a bottle of porosos in my casket. My other buddy to put a blunt and then go, Leanne. <laughs> He's missing something. <laughs> That's a and movie. Then, and then she gets, you see her take her panties out off under her dress and get on the casket and go, it'll take a second. I know this guy. <laughs> That's art. I feel like the thing about life is you can paint your own picture. You don't have to go by the book. That's what's great about it. Beautiful. Too many people go by the book. Yeah, that's the thing. Too many people are color inside the lines and they're not realizing they're, the lines are just an idea. Mm -hmm. Color the outside, leave the inside. It's like when you see a guy with a tattoo that's like hollowed out mm -hmm. and all the artworks around it mm -hmm. and you go, oh. It's, it's kind of like you, you got big arms with a big belly. Yeah. Like, like your arms fit, but if you was to just, they just seen this, they'd be like, I want him. And then they see you. Then they see this and they're like, oh, that was bait and switch. Yeah. If you, if you came up to me, if you're a girl and you come up to me at a bar and you grab my arm, just here, grab my arm. Okay. And you feel that? You're yeah. like, oh, that guy's in shape. Yeah. And then when you touch this, and then when you see me naked, it looks like I outgrew my dick. Right. Because like I got bigger, but my dick stayed the same size. Right. And so you'd be like, I think I think about that. Like, I, there's a lot of reasons I don't cheat on my wife. But number one is I love her. Number two is, number okay, number seven is... I would hate to show this body to a stranger and have to look on their face, you know? Like, you remember in Christmas when you'd open it, you're like, it's a sweater? And you're like, fuck. Mm -hmm. And your grandma's there and you gotta give her that look like, thanks. I don't know what cashmere is. But I wonder who the first person that actually like made the word like cheating. Like who's the first person to just say, 
like in ever. And it was like, what you just did? And somebody said, they didn't have a name to it. And it yeah. was just like. You know what it is? I can tell you. Who? It's gotta be two Italian dudes. And they're both fucking side chicks. And one guy leads on the other. Who named them side chicks though? What do you call them? No, no, them? no. At the time, it's just, they're, they're, that's what they did. You right. can fuck anyone. And the guy's like, I bet one, one of the guys like, it's almost like cheating what we're doing. Like we're getting away with murder. Like we can fuck that and we got our wives. It's almost like cheating. He goes, hey, don't, that word's gonna stick. Don't let them hear it. <laughs> He's like, but you're right, right? He's like, fuck yeah. Like that was all through history. You could just have side chicks. Enzo Ferrari had like tons of side chicks. And then he had his wife who mm -hmm. did not look like fucking the chick in the movie for the record. Mm -hmm. And then he could just have sex with them and then buy them houses and then have kids with them. His son runs Ferrari right now. His illegitimate son runs Ferrari right now. Mm -hmm. His illegitimate son couldn't even take his name because mm -hmm. his, his ex first wife was still around. Mm -hmm. She was like, as long as I live, he'll never be called Ferrari. And he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then she died and he's like, hey, Ferrari, get over here. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it's selfish for people to say, why me after something happened? Because like, who else would it be? Yeah, but that's natural. I think that's natural. So I get into a car wreck and then you drop past and I say, why me? And I look just at you as you drop past. Do you feel like that's a target towards you? No, it's, 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 it's such a natural behavior when something bad, like I had a friend who couldn't get pregnant and she was like, she would see people with kids that didn't mm -hmm. look like they wanted them. Mm -hmm. She was like, how come they can get pregnant? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't know. Don't think of it that way. Mm -hmm. It's natural. I think if you flip it, I definitely think why me a lot. Because, you know, when you start stand up, you have all, all you and all your boys are the same. Mm -hmm. And then you start to succeed and you see some of your guys maybe not pop, but they're just as funny as you. Mm -hmm. It's called survivor's remorse a little bit mm -hmm. where you just go like, how did I like, how did I get out of the system? How did I not get trapped by drugs and alcohol and pussy? How mm -hmm. come I love just stand up? How come I didn't like, how come? Why? Why me? That, that's interesting. You can look at it both ways. You can see the car accident and go, why me? Or you can be in the car driving fast and go, oh my God, how come I'm so lucky I didn't get in a car accident? God, that's interesting. <laughs> right. We should get high together one time. I love those kind of thoughts. Yeah. You break it down. Another thing, which is, it's just a lot like who's the first person to come up with time and just said it, you know, and words too. I'm fascinated by the people that tried to change time. Yeah. Like the, the emperors and the dictators that decided they would be arrogant enough that they would change time. And they go, that does it. We're, fuck all the months, we're renaming them. Mm -hmm. They did that in the French Revolution. French Revolution was a fucked up revolution. Mm -hmm. And halfway through, they're like, yeah, it was like, it was kind of like- You throwing like no cap and type shit as yeah, you talk? Yeah, 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 yeah. French okay. Revolution was fucked up, no cap. Uh, these guys were lunatics. And I mean, they're kind of like, uh, they're kind of like if you let Portland run America. Cause they were like, all right, first thing we're doing, we're changing all the month's names. And everyone just had to be like, okay. And so, and then they did. And then, yeah, Turkmenbashi, there's a, a, a dictator in Turkmenistan, I think, I think. And he changed the months cause he was getting old. And he's like, yo, if we had two months, I get older, slower. So we added two months to the calendar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd love to be a dictator. So what about when it comes to Presidents, do you feel like it should be an age cap on it? Like if you could, could no you cap. be like 20? No cap. Could you be like 38 for pre running for president? You mean young? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't even think vocal cords should develop until you're 35. Mm -hmm. I think, I think, uh, yeah, there should be a physical fitness test. Mm -hmm. they, should, they should do a cage fight or a slap boxing. Like, do, you know, they have them on their podiums mm -hmm. and then they're doing their debate and they're like, actually, I do think that the situation in Ukraine is a little out of control. And I think that uh, this and I don't like my opponent. And, he, and then Joe Biden's like, okay. And then Dana White shows up and he's like, let's bring those podiums closer. And they come in like this. And then you see them dusting up their hands. And Joe Biden's like, I don't think I'm gonna last through one of these. And then Donald Trump hits him. And then he, all of a sudden Joe Biden talks smarter. He was like, oh, oh, holy cow. The situation in Ukraine, you're like, wait, what happened to him? Donald Trump's like, I'm gonna stop him again, make him stupid again. And then he hits Donald Trump and Donald Trump's like, I'm non-binary, fuck, fuck, hit me one more time. That would be cool. That sounds like an episode of The Simpsons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could write for them. I could not write for them. Uh, you don't know how to spell either? 
No, at all. I don't know how to spell it either. I can't, I can't spell like, I can't even spell the name Michael. Yeah, me either. I fuck it up every time. Me too. Yeah. M-I-C, low, L-O-W, co, cool. C-O, yeah, Michael, cool. Yeah, I used to spell my my buddy's name Brian Brain mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. When did you realize that you couldn't spell? Oh, very early, mm -hmm. very early. I still can't read very well. Me either. Like, I see words. Like I Backward, saw, like you see what you want to see? Yeah. It's called, yeah. Dyslexia. Yeah. I mean, it happens to me all the time. No, it's Where you see a word and you're like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. That does, and then your wife's like, that doesn't say what you it think was it was a says. time when they, it was a such thing called popcorn reading. And they used to pick people you read and pick who it was. So I used to read, I used to pre-read my stuff. <laughs> and then they never picked on me when I do it. And then when I didn't know it, they picked me. You sit there and you'd be re practicing reading, practicing reading. And they're like, David Germain. You're like, fuck, no. Okay, and then you jump to the next paragraph, start reading, reading, reading. And they're like, Eric Nupple. And you're like, God damn it. And then they never called on you. And I was like, wow. And that's what anxiety attacks are. Yeah, and then I relax. Like, <clears> they're not going to call me. And then when they call you, I used to act like I didn't know where we was at. And yeah. the teacher come and showed me. And she put her finger right there. And she start right there. And that's where it starts off. Yeah. And you're like, on say? And she's like, it's once. Once. Up on a time, right? And you're looking around the room like, you guys are reading the same thing I'm reading? I was a really bad reader. I still am a bad reader. Me I'm too. A really I don't bad, like words. I'm a bad, I'm a, I don't, I like words, but I don't like the way they represent themselves. Yeah, no, I feel like it's all like, it's, it's false. I was about to say the most fucked up thing in the world. Yeah, good thing you did. I, that's the... I'm working on that. Yeah. I'm working on biting my tongue. Yeah. Because I have jokes that I think are funny, but then other people go, what the fuck? Yeah. So it's always good to say it in your house this loudly. Let me see if I can change it. <laughs> no. Okay, guys. <laughs> you look. But no, that's, that's funny. Words are like liberals. <clears throat> like, you like them. But then once you see them, sometimes yeah. you're like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, I feel like they just, they, it's like rumors because I don't know. Yeah, it's just going off of what people are saying. Like, this is not probably how you really say that. Yeah. Uh, I have, I have, uh, one thing about me, I was in school. I had my favorite teacher four times. I got her back four times. <laughs> <laughs> I almost swallowed my zen. Man, he must really like me. He just keeps failing. <laughs> Is she hot? She was just fine. Yeah, I would love to go back and see those teachers now that I'm into older chicks. Mm -hmm. See which ones I'd smash. Yeah. Yeah. I remember uh, the first girl, I remember going on a date. And we went to the movies. And we got there. And I paid for my ticket. And she stood there. And she was like, what are you doing? I'm like, waiting on you. And she was <laughs> like... <laughs> what are you doing? You're like, I'm waiting to get popcorn. Get in here. Get your no, ticket. No, no, no. I was waiting on her to buy hers. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And she was like, that's not how I go. And I'm like, what do you mean? And I'm like, I asked you, did you want to, you came. Like, you didn't have to come. Yeah. And she was like, you're supposed to pay. And I'm like, who the fuck said that? Yeah. But that was, as a kid, I don't know who started that rule, but I feel like if you're here too, you wanted to be here, right? Mm-hmm. So you should pay for yours. I pay for mine, if that makes sense. I don't know. You can go see a different movie if you want to. I don't need to see the same movie as you. I want to see Karate Kid. <laughs> and we meet up after the end. Yeah. Let's hope they're timed out right. I'll wait for you. Yeah. Not long, but yeah. like 15, 20 minutes. If not, we're really going Dutch. Yeah. You say that, going Dutch? No, I didn't. I just figured out what that word means. So when uh, the man and woman pay separately. Yeah. That's, I don't feel like nothing's wrong with it. And I feel like it. You should, if I feel good paying, I'm going to pay it. I don't want to feel forced to pay yeah. you. Because one time I paid and I went on a date with a girl and her boyfriend came picked up after we got to eat. Yeah. No cap? No cap. I forgot the other one. Hype, hype that? Uh, type shit. Type shit? Yeah. But you've never been through that, so you can't say type shit. No. I've been in the friend zone a lot. Mm -hmm. Where you're like dating a girl and then you don't realize she just thinks you're gay. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, fuck. You should have tried to kiss her. <laughs> yeah, she just made you a friend. Yeah, made you a friend, and then you can't get out of the friend zone. And then yeah. she starts talking about your friends, and you're like, ugh. No, she starts talking about the dude she talked to, and then you got to listen to her. Yeah, and, and then you'd be like, I don't think he's a good guy for you. Yeah, he's got herpes. Yeah. She's like, what? No, I don't know. That's what they say. I don't know. I didn't wear condoms. 
Uh, I teach his own. He's with a different chick every night. I mean, like, whatever. But if you, if you, like you know that. where we from? We call it. Have you heard of Dirty Mackin? Dirty Mac, yeah. Have you heard of Dirty Mac? Fuck yeah. Have you ever Dirty Mac? No. You sure? Be honest. No, I never. Have. No, I'm serious. It won't get out. I'll take this out there. Before. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What happened? Why'd you do that? I don't know. I don't really know what Dirty Mackin is. Dirty Mackin is where you talk down on somebody else to get the girl. Oh, no, I never Dirty Macked. You just said. Wait, hold on, hold on. Maybe. Th- let me think. It ain't been a better guy that ain't got the girl that you wanted and you was able to talk to her. And you like put yeah, it. Yeah, dirty back. And how was it? I was young. I was young. She ended up dating him. Mm-hmm. I had sex with her, but she ended up dating. Mm-hmm. He was my best friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you just told all the beans about him? I tried to. Mm-hmm. I tried to. to save did he come back to him? No, he didn't care. Mm-hmm. He was fucking her. Yeah. But did he get upset that you told no. him? No, we're still friends. He was texting me yesterday. Oh. Yeah. It was bros before hoes. Oh, well, you didn't do that. No, I, I know, but bros before hoes in the long term. It's mm-hmm. hoes before bros if if it's like two in the morning. Mm-hmm. But it's bros before hoes when you're 50. Uh, two in the morning. Two in the morning is hoes before hoes. It's hoes. It's just, it's like two in the morning, there's a panic. Like, I, you know. But yes, yeah, yeah, I definitely dirty macked him. Mm-hmm. On the DL too. What is a a text phrase that you had to learn? You didn't know what it means, like a short. I just uh, found that what was it? BRB, be right back. Be right back. I didn't know what that meant. Oh, there's all the ones like uh, RN. What's that? I thought it was registered nurse. Mm-hmm. It's right now. Oh, okay. I'll see you RN, and I was like, oh, you're bringing a registered nurse? Mm-hmm. And no, it's right now. Mm-hmm. I'm not good with texting. Because you can't spell. I'm the same way. Yeah, and I do voice text. And sometimes voice text will change things. Like I said in a voice text to this guy, he's like, hey man, I'm, you're gonna be in Stockton and we'll bring a bunch of cage fighters and hang out backstage. I was like, absolutely. And I hit send and it changed it to, I'm so fucking lonely. <laughs> and I was like, ah, I can't take that back. <laughs> Are you swinging your feet right now? I'm swinging them a little bit, stretching them out. I really like you. Uh, uh-huh. Is that, is that pause? Can I, you can say that. You look me in my eyes after you said it. Oh, so, man, I really like you. No, that's, that's more obvious. It, it's, that's still uncomfortable because it gives me like, I don't know what, if somebody say something, look away, it's like they shy. I don't want you to be shy when you say that. You don't want me to be shy? No. All right. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how you can say that to a man. I say it to a lot of men. Oh, you just easy. Yeah. If I like someone, I, I like to tell them that I like them. Oh. Yeah. I'm not that easy. For real? Yeah. Why? No, you want to, you, now you're trying to warm me up. I'm yeah. not going there. Let's get there. No. Nah. Let's get there. <laughs> I can see you a character. If you can have an animated character, I can see you on King of the Hill. I can see that. Would I be a main character or a side character? No, just every now and then. Every now and then show up. Yeah. Take my shirt off, kill a beer. I'm in a Speedo and I'm hosing my front yard. In The Simpsons too. <clears throat> I could definitely be in The Simpsons. Yeah. I would love to be an animated character. I don't watch enough animation though. Like I feel like you should be really into animation if you can do an animated character. I did a voiceover for an animated show one time and it was so tedious, I tried to pay them to get out of it. Mm-hmm. So they were like, you need to come back. You know, if I say five words again, it's going to take an hour and a half. And you're like, fuck this. I was like, I don't even watch Nickelodeon. <laughs> I, t- I told him I'd pay them extra to get someone else. I said, I'll give you your 10 grand back. I'll give you another 10 grand so I don't have to do this. Is it still going on? Yeah. I asked me to do another Who? voiceover. And I just I mean, said, fuck with me. I got it. Yeah. Can yeah. you do a white guy's accent? <clears throat> Actually, can I tell you something? Everyone's black in this show. And they got you uh, doing it? Uh, that's what I said. How the fuck they big you? Well, because they're characters, so like they're like they're like blue and purple. But then when I looked at the pictures, all the other actors, everyone was black. And I was like, hey, did I take a black guy's role? And they're like, no, 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 you're the dad. And I was like, yeah, but did, should I be sounding different? And they're like, no, you sound perfect. And I was like, yeah, but now that I'm hearing it, everyone's black. And I'm like, all right, that does it, everybody. Mm-hmm. Like it just didn't. It don't feel well. It didn't, it didn't sit well with me, but it's animated, so. I definitely could do that role. Do a white guy's voice. Mm. 
But do a real one. Don't do like the comic one. No. Like if you, that's the problem. With da- like, da- David, David. That's, that's not, that's like a 5% of the white guys. Hey, Dave. No, it's just got to be, just take all the, the soul out of yourself. Take everything that makes you cool. Let go of it. Take some time on your vowels. Give me a sentence. Okay. Uh, uh, Starbucks. Would you like some Starbucks? Uh, okay. So, all right. Ar- already you got to get in the character. You got to remember that as a white guy, you want to connect with everyone. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, hey, good morning. Uh, I love your piercing. Um, can I get... Take time with it. Can I get... Oof. Can you do like just four shots of espresso over ice in a Trenta cup? That would be great. Okay, you ready? All right. Hey, welcome to Starbucks. Oh, no, ready? <coughs> yeah. Hey, welcome to Starbucks. Hey, how you doing today? No, you're still black. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey. <coughs> What's up? Hey. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> how you doing, sir? <laughs> That was that's someone yeah. like ammo. Yeah, like I'll show you. Uh, hi. There you go. You're getting hi. it's in the back of your throat. Hey. hey Hello. Hey. hey. Nice. Nice hey. to meet you. There you go. That's nice it. person. Yeah. Could I get a extra Chipotle sauce? There you go. A that's it. That with a little dab. Yeah. Is Brad in the office today? <laughs> this would be amazing. You got it. Well, oh, won't you sneak me some right out in the back? <laughs> I don't have to pay, right? Because I'm yeah. white. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> you know what else is back there? <laughs> Cash. <laughs> Why are you robbing the place? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get away with the voice. <laughs> All right, so let's do the black voice. All right, I got you. <clears throat> I've been waiting to do this my whole life. Let's do it. All right, give me uh, a scenario. Let's see. All right. I'm, All the, right, yeah. I'm the weed oh, man. I'm the weed man. You buying some weed? No, me. don't make it stereotypical. Put me in like something I don't expect uh, a black guy to do. Okay, bet. Let's do this. Something uh, really authentic. Hmm. Like uh, something. Ooh, cool. I got it. I got it. I think I got it. It's coming to me. I, I got, got it. It was really cool. This scenario. We got to get the voice in it. We got to get the. I don't know. Let's see. And then tell me the kind of black guy I am, too. Okay, I got you. We're going to break it down. Oh, oh. You late on your car payment. I'm coming to pick up your car. So you angry a little bit. And you okay. trying to talk me out of towing your car. You six late past dude. This is me. Right. I've been through this. Okay. So you being me, Mustang, 2005. I'm mad, but I don't start mad. I get mad. Yeah, you get mad. Okay. And I'm towing your car. Okay. And I'm giving you my lifestyle. It was a 2005 Mustang, but gold. It was mine. I was convertible. Uh, nah, hell no. Okay. Uh, and I cut the box off to take out the location. They finally found me. I'm in my side chick house. So you got to get home. Okay. Beep, 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 oh shit. Beep, beep, hey, my man. My man. Yo. Yo. Brother. Oh. <laughs> What's the haps? Homeboy? What, the what did that mean? <laughs> don't usually don't say what's the haps. Is that I thought you guys created that. It's not ours. No, it ain't ours either. Okay. Um beep, 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 beep. You late on Big your- dog, big dog. What's up with you? That's my whip. I know, and then you laid on your payments. So no, 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 hell no. Hold on, hold on. Who you talking to? You talk to Rachel? Because I talked to Rachel. She said I'm not late. Wait, how the fuck did you find me? Man, listen. How yeah. you know where I stay? Letitia! Letitia, get my strap. I'm fucking, I, I stand on my business. You got warrants, don't you? I, hey, yo. yo. I'm about to call the police. I'm calling yo, the police. Yo, where do you stay at? Where do you I'm, stay at? I'm calling, I'm my phone get out. I'm calling the police. Well, you a Karen now? You gonna call the popo on me? Uh, okay, I'm not gonna do it now. Thank you. That's why we gotta stick together. Okay, well, I should just let the car down, man. You're hey. absolutely right, man. Thank you. Hey, hey man. man, hey. What are you doing next Thursday night? Uh, no, man, I was just gonna hang Hey, so let me give you my mixtape, okay? Me and my boys, we have a band. Me, me, no, no, me. no, 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 my man, my man, because I can put you on. We need a guest trap. You can't even pay your car payment, No, no, brother. no, but if this pops off, man, we're going global. How long you been rapping? Me my whole life. Shut the fuck up. Beep, beep, beep. God damn it. That was good. That was good, right? Yeah. And I, that was actually me. I actually made them feel guilty for what they were doing when I was in the room. Because I was behind eight months on my payment. Imagine mm. that. 
Yeah, I, I can see myself getting there because I don't know how to pay bills. Yeah. And I can be shocked that someone's towing my car. Yeah. And that, that energy with tow truck energy drivers are they're like, so angry. They're really angry. Mm -hmm. It's usually a white guy. Nobody's worse than the boot people. <sighs> they are the worst. Yeah, and they do it quick. Yeah. They come in. And they, you know what's fucked up is that they're not millionaires. So, like, do you think they get our struggle? But like you just burped. I no no I, I am burped. You shit it. No I burped. Burped. I burped. Oh, one time was a little it just came I out. thought you pooped it. So no. you got a lot of things coming out. If you can look. <laughs> oh yeah, that was funny. You got a lot of things coming out. But I meant like a lot of things coming out, like shows torn. And if you can let them know what's going on, let's get into it. So right now, guys, I'm with my number one. You got to act sad when you do this because this is where everything's going to sell out times 10. So when you let them know what's going on, make it seem sad. For real? They make, yeah. You want me to cry? Yeah, do that. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to be your agent. I'm your manager. Hey, guys, I want my number one client and our sales are moving so slow and our merch is going slow and everything is going down here. We end up in progress of losing his trailer. <laughs> he's upset. His fishing pole He's lost. What car did you lose? <laughs> my Mercedes. Okay. And, and could you talk to them and tell them what they need to do? I'm just a guy trying to get by. I got a tour. I know, you're doing way too much. Okay. All right. All right yeah. Okay. You, all right. Just I got to hear you. Okay. Just be sad, but like sad. <sighs> Guys, yeah. I got a tour. I don't even want to be out there. It's called the Tops Off World Tour. I shoot my fucking stupid Netflix special in July. Nobody's watching it either. No, no one's got Netflix. I wish I could just put it on YouTube. And tell him about just the merch and everything, because his sales are going down. We have we get like five sales a day. I don't wear shirts. I don't know why I even sell shirts, but I got them. So if you want them, and I don't know why you'd want them, but I got them. They're not cool at all. My wife designed them. I didn't get a say in it at all. But I got that going on. I got another tour I do in the summer, fully loaded. It's tickets are moving fast. It's stupid people. Mark Norman. No, they're moving slow. Slow. Oh, they're moving horribly. No, but fa they, they, okay, they're, they're not. No one's even fucking coming. I don't even know why I do this. I'm not that talented. I just take my shirt off and tell the same goddamn story every fucking night. I'm a bloated alcoholic that no one loves. And thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, and we just want the tickets to go up because nobody's here we just want we just both have been going through a lot and i need my bills paid in the show we uh can sign a contract where you give me 80 percent, you take the rest right i get 20. is that what's left uh, oh yeah on okay. our math okay well why don't, why don't we why don't we put in 110 percent and then i get 30. okay well let's do that so for me to get paid and him get paid we want you guys to go get the tour coming near you. We should end on a song. All right, let's do it. Give us a theme. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the rainforests are disappearing. You gotta hit the little baby like that. <laughs> the rainforests slow, slow down. Are... Have some rhythm, like have oh. some like swagger to it. Okay. Rain. <laughs> Forests <laughs> are disappearing at a drastic rate. Oh, 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 oh. Tell them, Mark, go about those tree frogs. <laughs> they make a sound similar to Marco's man. All right, bro, I'm, I'm tired of shit. I do that. <laughs> guys, I want you guys to check them out. I feel like... Uh, He's a good guy. It was dope sitting down with him. Uh, he just came in and he actually came in with good energy. I feel like he was, uh, why are you looking at me? I'm, I'm just checking you out. Yeah, don't do that. I'm acting okay. like you're not here. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, it was weird when I was sitting next to him, I was ready to go the whole time. Uh, I'm so thankful that the interview was over. I recommend you guys, if you made it this far, why did you even watch it? <laughs> Tell like, me a secret. If they why, made it you're not, far, he, you're oh, not oh, here. Sorry, 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 sorry. He talked too much. He kept cutting me off. <laughs> Definitely rude guy. 10 out of 10, I wouldn't give him that. I'd give him a 2 out of 10. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend, you know? And if anybody's listening to this, I'm talking about you. If you're looking at me, I'm definitely talking about you. 
anybody with their shirt off, I'm talking about you. I'm the only one with their shirt off. Hype that. What was it again? It's a mindset thing. What's your phrase? My phrase? I'm the machine. Tell them. I'm the machine. This machine is about to retire, as you can see. This machine needs some oil. <laughs> need a tune up. <laughs> it might need an overhaul. <laughs> Shutting down. <laughs> it still can fuck.